In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create six business steps infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click, you can see here uh, uh, the animation comes. The first step, a diamond shape here with a different color. You can add the title and the detailed text. And then the step two, three, four, five, and six. So depending on your requirement, you can increase or decrease these steps. And if you have not subscribed to my channel PowerPoint University, please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon. You can join my telegram group with the help of this link. And if you like to contribute to my channel, you can do it through PayPal or Patreon. The link is provided in the video description section. I have used Office 2019 version to do this. If you are using the older version like 2007 or 2010, some features may not be available. So I highly recommend you to upgrade to 2019 or the latest versions. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide, go to view, enable the guides, go to insert shapes. From the basic shapes, I'm going to select the diamond shape. Just click it here and under format, make the height and width as three inches and shape outline, make it no outline, then align center, align middle and press ctrl d to duplicate this one change the color to some other color and then i'm going to make the height and width as maybe 2.3 and this also 2.3 and then again align center align middle now what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut this gray part okay so first select the blue diamond shape and then hold the shift key select the gray one under format merge shape just click on subtract so you end up getting a, a line something like this a outline then go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle covering the bottom part and then i'm going to cut that one all right or if you want you can just cut the top part also depending on your requirement so let me just uh, uh, cut the top part so first select the diamond shape then hold the shift key select the rectangle merge shape and click on subtract so we end up getting a shape something like this all right press ctrl d to duplicate and keep it here for the later use so now i'm going to select this press ctrl d to duplicate and then go to format rotate I can rotate flip vertical and I'm going to place it exactly here. Just uh, zoom in and make sure that it is properly aligned. All right. So once this is done, I'm going to cut some part from this place. So for that, go to insert shapes, select the rectangle, draw the rectangle, shape outline, no outline, shape fill, you can give any color and if you want you can go to format shape and increase the transparency also so we know exactly how much we are going to cut that one all right so now using this one i'm just going to you can see here this much part i want to cut all right so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this one hold the shift key select this one merge shape and click on subtract all right again i'm going to duplicate this press ctrl d to duplicate this one and keep it aside for the time being then i'm going to remove this select this one press ctrl d to duplicate again i'm click on rotate and you can just do one more flip horizontal and then just put it like this so i end up getting a shape you can see here something like this all right again as i said make sure that if you zoom it you have to if you see here it is not properly aligned i need to align it properly all right so this looks perfect for me so this one shape is ready i'm going to move this aside you can see here something like this all right and then what i'm going to do is i'm just going to select this shape which I have copied and then I'm going to put it here. Let me just move this aside a little bit. You can see here some design like this and this one which I have copied, I'm going to select that one. I'm going to rotate it 
flip vertical and flip horizontal okay if this is not i don't want this to you know to go and merge with this one so what i can do is instead i can just select this also and i can copy it here so i don't need this one at all so let me just do this proper alignment and then you can see here i can select both of this hold the control shift key together and give the equal spacing something like this all right now if the size is big what you can do is you can select this one press ctrl g to group it hold the shift key and reduce the size something like this you can see here all right and once this is done again i can group ungroup this one then what i need to do is i need to select this part and copy it there all right so let me just select this also press ctrl d to duplicate ctrl g to group it then go to rotate and i can make it flip vertical and then flip horizontal and then i'm just going to put it here and you have to just make sure that the equal spacing has to be there here so once this is done i can again if i want i can group it or let me just group this one one by one press ctrl g to group it so that we don't have any problem at the time of doing the alignment you can see here now i'm just selecting all this and make sure that align top all right and then align distribute horizontally so equal spacing has been given and now shape fill you can give any color of your choice so once this is done i'm going to add a diamond shape here go to insert shapes i'm going to select the diamond shape again just click it here and if you want you can hold the shift key and insert and increase the size all right and shape outline make it no outline let me just zoom in and hold the control shift key you can see here you can just add it one by one something like this now depending on your requirement you can give any color of your choice you can see here i'm just giving some different color combinations any color combination you can give it here all right so maybe i'm going to give uh, some other color this one okay and once this is done i'm going to add the text option so go to insert text box i'm going to type one center align make it bold i'm going to choose the font open sans or any other font of your choice and then just put it here hold the ctrl shift key then this is the second one add for each diamond the number all right so now this is two three four five and six so depending on your requirement you can increase or decrease these options also so now i'm just going to select this one and i'm going to change maybe to white color or any other color of your choice it can be done the last part in the designing i'm going to insert text box and i'm going to add title here all right and then center align choose some nice fonts i'm going to put it here and then below you can add some detailed text so i can just i'll say add detail text here center align i'm going to choose same font reduce the size to maybe 11 and just paste it here and if you want you can just give some different color and select both of this align center and hold the ctrl shift key together or first group it by pressing ctrl g and then hold ctrl shift key together and then just 
add one by one for each option. You can see here something like this. Let me just remove the guides. All right. So now our design is ready. It's time to add the animation. So to add the animations, go to the animation, enable the animation pane. I'm going to select these first, these outlines, and then add animations. You can go and select the wipe. All right, wipe, make it from left, something like this. And if you want, you can make it after previous also. And then this also, I'm just going to group it one by one the diamond shape and the number you can see here I've just group it and then I'm going to select all of these all right then animations add animation more intense effects I'm going to select basic zoom click OK and this one should happen with previous okay and then this one I'm just going to put it on after each of the my diamond shape you can see here something like this and this one I can just do something like this so you can see here it comes like that so this one should be on click you can see here the animation and for this also you can add the animation which is add animation more entrance effect stretch click ok and stretch from top something like this all right and this one also you can make it with previous and then i'm going to copy after each text okay so again you can see here i can just go and put it one by one like this all right so if i play now it comes like this 